Welcome to this week's edition of Top Slide TV. I'm Trace Cox. And I'm Ty Poole. This week we have the Battle of the Bands reminders from Guidance and the Sports Playoffs. Here's the fourth period Digital Media 1 class with the week's news. If you want a new iPad, this is your chance. That and over $2,000 in other prizes can be won right here on campus. It is time for the electric vehicle raffle and this year's winners might be the luckiest yet. The prize bin is overflowing with gifts waiting to be won from the EV class. In addition to the iPad, there are restaurants, gift cards, furniture, car detailing services, clothing, and so much more. Tickets are $10 each or three for 25 bucks. Buy them from any EV student, but act fast because the drawing is June 7th. Some of Topsil's finest musical acts took the stage last week to show what they were made of. It was the yearly battle of the bands, and once again, the acts did not disappoint. Over 15 bands performed at this year's event, with everything from heavy metal to rock to country music on display. After all the acts were done and the votes were tallied, the winning band was lonely and single, but the real winner is Topsail Stand Club. They organized the event and all proceeds raised goes towards the United to End Genocide Fund. With just a few weeks left in school, we have two big reminders from the guidance department. Don't forget that AP testing will still take place this week and you're running out of time to apply for scholarships. We'll start with the AP testing where the test goes up until Friday. Students taking those tests need to remember to be at their testing room 15 minutes early because if you're late, the test will start without you. Also. There is still one more scholarship that is up for grabs. If you want to apply for the Blueberry Festival Scholarship, you must do so by this Friday. Seniors, if you have not ordered your cap and gown yet, you must go to Guidance ASAP. If you have already ordered it, get ready for Picture Day next week. Senior cap and gown pictures will be Tuesday, May 22nd in the auditorium lobby. Pictures will be taken before school and during power hour. Students must sign up in Ms. Raby's office for a time slot. Men should wear a shirt and tie, while women should wear a v-neck shirt. Students are responsible for bringing their own cap and gown and tassel for their pictures. To sports now, where for the second year in a row, Topsil's Will Thomas is the state champion for the high jump. Will took the title late last week at the two-way meet in Greensboro. Will jumped six foot eight inches to secure his second straight title. That's one inch better than last year's winning height. He almost came home with two golds as Will came up just short in the triple jump and settled for second. Now it's time for Will to focus on football again as he heads to the University of Charlotte in the fall to suit up for the 49ers football team. That wraps up this week's edition of Topsail High TV. And hopefully Will Thomas won't be our last state championship of this year. Several of our Pirate sports teams are still alive in the playoffs. Check with Coach Horn for updated playoff schedules. Hopefully we will have many more titles to celebrate. Have a great week everyone and we'll see you right back here next week at Topsail High TV.